Well, hey everyone, I'm back with another chapter, India's climate, vegetation and wildlife. Now this chapter tells all about Indian climate, okay, kis tarah ki vegetation wahan par form hai, and these two factors together, they form the wildlife in the country. Now this starts with the term called weather. Weather is about day-to-day definition in the atmosphere. This means that there is a momentary description of what kind of weather condition is there. So this includes temperature, rainfall and sunshine. For example, it may be hot and cold, sunny or cloudy, windy or calm. Now broadly, major seasons are recognized in India are cold weather season, which is winter signify. It is generally found between December to February. Now, in December to February, the sun rays do not directly fall in this region. As a result, temperature in northern India is very low, which is this season is called winter season. The next season is hot weather season, which is summer mein hota hai, between the months of March to May. Now, in hot weather season, sun rays falls directly in this region. Temperature is very high. Jate hai. Hot or dry winds in the summer, which is called low. Jata hai. The another one is southwest monsoon season or rainy season ke naam se bhi jata hai. This is a specific period between June to September. Now the monsoon season is marked by ons, uh, onset of the advanced monsoons. Winds Arabian Sea or Bay of Bengal se land ki taraf blow karti hai. Aur ye bhoot sara moisture carry karti hai. Jiski wajah se bhoot zyada barish hoti hai Indian subcontinent. Now the other term is season of retreating monsoon. Now, winds move back from the mainland to Bay of Bengal. This is the season of retreating monsoon. Particularly, South India, in some states, mein retreating monsoon ki se barish hoti hai, jo ki winter season. Mein hoti hai, ya phir autumn or winter ke beech wale samay mein hoti hai. Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh receive karte hai rainfall kab? during the autumn and winter season because of retreating monsoon. However, climate. Climate is about weather conditions of an area over the large amount of time jo ki bahut sara time ho sakta hai generally 35 years ya usse above ka time period liya jata hai now india ka jo climate hai isko hum monsoon type climate bolte hain monsoon is a word which is taken from mausam which means seasons now because india ki location tropical region mein hai uski wajah se jitni bhi india mein rain hoti hai uska majority portion monsoon winds ki wajah se hota hai aur india ka mostly sab agriculture depend karta hai monsoon ke season par now the climate of a place is affected by its location kis tarah ki hai altitude kitna hai distance from the sea kitna hai and relief features wahan par kis tarah se hai therefore we experience regional differences in climate of india for example jaisalmer aur bikaner Desert area Rajasthan may fall karte hai, to suja se wahaka temperature bohaz other hot hai. On the other hand, Dras and Kargil in Jammu and Kashmir, they are freezing cold. Coastal places like Mumbai, Kolkata, they experience moderate climate. They are neither too hot nor too cold. So these variation continue. Most in them in Meghalaya receives the highest rainfall in the world, while in the same time period, there is no rain at all in Jaisalmer in Rajasthan. Now, due to varied climate conditions, India has a wide range of natural vegetation. Generally, we classify it in five types. Mein. The first one is tropical evergreen forests, tropical deciduous, thorny bushes, mountain vegetation, and mangrove forests. Now, the first one is tropical rain vegetation. Tropical rainforest, they occur in the areas where there is a lot of rain. Generally, this is in the equator region. Hoti hai. Now, these forests are so dense that sunlight doesn't reach the ground sometimes. There are many species that shed their different types. Like some leaves shed their leaves in January, some leaves shed their leaves in January, some in February, some in June, some in November. Mein. Now, this is because this सारा का सारा वेजिटेशन इस तरह से ऐसा लगता है कि वो हर टाइम एवरग्रीन है साल के किसी भी टाइम एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ट्री स्पीशीज व्हिच आर फाउंड इन दीस फॉरेस्ट आर मेहोगनी एबोनी एंड रोजबुड अंडमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स एंड द नैरो स्ट्रिप ऑफ वेस्टर्न स्लोप ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट्स 
are home to these forests in India. And the second type of vegetation is tropical deciduous forest. A large part of our country have this type of forest. These forests are also called as monsoon forests. These are less dense. Generally, they shed their leaves at a particular time of the year. Important trees kaun kaun se hai? Sal, teak, peepal, neem and chisham. Generally, ye found hote hai Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and bahut sare Maharashtra ke chote chote tracts mein. Now the other one is thorny bushes. Ye us tarah ki vegetation hai jo sirf dry areas mein found hoti hai. Is in podo ki leaves generally spines ki form mein hoti hai taake wo reduce kar sake water losses. The examples are cactus, khair, babool, kikar. These are some important species which are found in Rajasthan, parts of Punjab and Haryana and you have to remember that eastern slopes of western Ghat has thorny bushes and western slopes have tropical evergreen and Gujarat also has these thorny bushes type of vegetation. Mountain vegetation. A wide range of species is found in the mountains according to the variation in height. So this is the same thing that as Kisi mountain ki height badhti hai, species bhi usi hisaab se vary karti hai. So with the increase in height, the temperature falls and so the species vary according to the temperature. This book has given the example, the height between 1500 meters and 2500 meters. Most of the trees found in such elevation are conical in shape. These forests are known as coniferous trees, cheer, pine, Deodar. These are some examples of coniferous trees. Now, what is a mangrove forest? Now, mangroves are the forests which can only survive in saline waters. They are mostly found in Sundarbans, in West Bengal, and in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Why these forests are necessary? Now, forests are very important for us. First of all, plant release oxygen that we breathe and it absorb carbon dioxide. Plants ki jo roots hai, wo soil ko bind karke rakhti hai, jiski wajah se soil erosion ko control karne mein help milti hai. Now the forest provide us with the timber for furniture, fuel wood, fodder, medicine plants and herbs etc. Now forests are the natural habitat for wildlife as well. Now forests are home to a variety of wildlife. There are thousands of species of animals and large variety of reptiles, amphibians, mammals, birds, insects, and worms which dwell in the forest. Now, moving further, it also talks about tiger, which is our national animal. It is found in various parts of our country. Now, Gir forest is home for Asiatic lions. Elephants are also found in Kerala and Karnataka. Wild goats, snow leopards, bears, which are found in Himalayan regions. And India is also equally rich in bird life. Peacock is our national bird other common birds such as parrots pigeons there are several bird sanctuaries which have been created just to give birds the natural shelter now it also talks about important species of snakes as well cobras crates which are very important for us now due to cutting of forests and hunting and several species of wildlife are declining rapidly many species have already become extinct now in order to protect them many national parks sanctuaries and biosphere reserves have been set up the government has also started the various projects such as project tiger project element elephant to protect these animals now you can also contribute in cons conserving wildlife so i would leave you with this newspaper cutting please go through the chapter and if you like the video please share with your friends and of course subscribe